right now in Boston. Mobile 4 out there on the roads this morning. Right now we've got Andover Town Manager Andrew Flanagan on the phone with us. And uh, Andrew, we were talking about those power outages. You guys were hit really hard with the last couple rounds of snow. So uh, what's the latest from up your neck of the woods now? Good morning. So um, during uh, the height of Storm Quinn, uh, approximately 75% of Andover residents were without power. Um, so we were hit uh, hard with regard to power outages. Um, throughout the course of the weekend, um, all of the town's critical facilities were br brought back online as of Sunday, uh, and uh, pretty much all of our residential and business customers. Um, so uh, we've been busy over the course of the past 48, year, uh, 48 hours uh, with an accelerated cleanup effort from Storm Quinn uh, and transitioned over to a, uh, a preparation effort for uh, uh, today's storm. So do, does everyone in, in Andover have their power back at this point? Um, the, the town is uh, pretty much 100% back online with, with a few cases uh, that were still outstanding that we're uh, working with the National Grid, the results. Imagine, though, many of those tree and tree limbs um, still in precarious positions, and that, of course, is something you have to keep your eye on if more snow and heavy, uh, heavy snow and wind um, are factors in this storm that you're going to have to deal with with, again, more power outages. That's our greatest concern uh, heading into this storm. Uh, we spent a great deal of time yesterday canvassing the town, uh, trying to look, uh, look for where uh, those types of instances could create a problem today uh, and resolve them in advance of uh, the snowfall. And again, town manager at Andover, a community that's been hit very hard in the last week. Uh, we appreciate your time, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. And Andover was hit hard last week, of course. Today.